Hello everyone, welcome back to this hour of fashion. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's class is going to be based on how to cut fitted booboo dress. As you can see it on the picture. So I'm using this Ankara, Ankara fabric to cut it out. I'm using 6 years of Ankara fabric so I'll be deducting the jar that I needed on it. So the length I'm using here is 60 length. So that means I'm going to take 60 inches in two places then i'll be having my seam allowance to it as well so this is 60 inches then i'll be adding two inches of seam allowance to it making 62 inches with the seam allowance so here is it then i'm going to double it this is after it's been doubled you can see so the nice thing is to cut it out So after that, what you're going to do here is to fold it into four. This is into four. You can see it now. Into two, then into four. Before you can take any measurements, you're going to take the shoulder slant of one inch. The shoulder slant of one inch. You can see. Then from here, I'm going to slant it to the center of both back and front this way. The next thing you're going to take is the length of the butterfly at the two sides. So I'll be making use of 38 inches. That's a little bit above the knee. 38 inches. The knee measurement for this is 41 inches. Then I'm making use of 38 inches. You can see. So the next thing to take now is the, is the hip measurement from here. Or the wideness of the lap. You can see this area is where the hip is going to fall to. This is where the knee is. So you can decide to take the wideness of the hip to be the wideness of the leg. So that you'll be able to move freely. So what I'll be using here, I'll be making use of 10.5 inches. This is 10.5 inches. The actual wideness I needed is 10 inches. Then I make use of half print for the seam allowance. So I'll be slanting it down to the full length of the dress. 10.5 inches here too. 10.5 inches. Then I'm going to connect them together. So after checking it out, this you can see where I straight it down to the full length. So the next thing to take here is to do the cutting. You can see. Then you come to this area, this area that you've already checked out. You come in to this area, you can see, then you go down to the full length. So you can see it now. So I'm going to trim the length here. Yeah. So this is now the shape you can see. So the next thing to do here is the neckline. The neckline of both back and front. The neck is a canoe neck. So I'm going to take the wideness of four inches. Four inches wideness you can see. Then the deepness of the front is going to be 2.5 inches. You can see the 2.5 inches that I chucked out is to cut it out like this a canoe neck you can see it now then I'm going to open it you can see the neck you can see the neckline so the next thing is to cut out the back the back neck is feet neck neckline so I'm making use of 8 inches, yeah? The deepness is going to be 8 inches. This is where you can see. Then from here, I'm going to slant it all to this area. You can see the 8 inches I chop out. Then I'm going to slant it up. You can see the neckline, a V neckline for the back and cano neckline for the front. So the next thing that I mean is to divide the back into two. You know, there's going to be a zip at the back. So I'm going to divide the back into two. This is the 
this is the area at which the sieve is going to be so you can see the damp part you can see the shape of the breast now you can see how beautiful the, the cotton turned out so let me go and do the finishing you can as well make use of a facing if you want it to be to stand very well so i'm going to make use of a facing here so i'm going to use the facing to turn every part of the dress then i'm going to sew it together so, welcome back this is after turning it with the lining you can see the facing this is after turning it with the facing you can see and i've joined the shoulders together i've turned the neckline you can see the feet neck at the back i've done that and this is a zip at the back also so this is the down part can see the damper. This is the wide neck of the damper after turning it. The stitching is just from the down here to this area. You can see I did not close it up. The stitching is just from here to here at the one side. You can see the one side just like uh, 0 0.1 inch. You can see so up to the length of the dress. Then I stop it at this edge. You can see it. You can see so the next thing to do now is to take the shape and i've as well take the center out i've higher on the center out you can see the point you can see the um the line of the center to the length of the dress you can see so the next thing now is to take the shape so if i can take the shape with this i have to roll it out with my chalk then i cannot stitch on it you can see this is my center so i'm going to start from the shoulder here to take my half cut the hammer you know is a cut is a is a boo boo so you're going to stitch it at the front at the right side of the fabric so starting from here now starting from here the hammer i'm using i'm using nine inches ammo nine inches nine inches ammo you can see so from this nine inches i'll be taking my bust measurement of 35 inches that is uh, from the center is going to be no for you 35, 35 inches there by two it's going to give us 17.5 inches so 17.5 inches there by two so from the center here yeah, this is my center this is the line of the center that I ironed out so to 8.75 8.75 this is 8.5 this is 8.75 so this is the area you can see this is 8.75 so the same thing applicable to the other side here starting from here Eight point seven five, eight point five, eight point seven five. You can see. So this is the line. So I'm going to make it up to this um, nine inches. So from the shoulder here, I'll be taking my waist measurement of fifteen inches. The fifteen inches is here. You can see this is my fifteen inches. So the same thing applicable to the other side. 15 inches for the waist measurement 15 inches so from this 15 inches the waist measurement is 27 inches there by 2 is going to give us 13 and a half inches so is that 13 and a half inches i'm going to share at this both side so from the center here yeah. from the center 13 and a half there by 2 is going to give us now this is 14 7 is 14 then 6 point 6 point um 7 5 also yeah the same thing applicable to the other side 6.75 from the center you can see 6.75 so from here now i'm going to slant it to this 6.75 you can see this is my waistline to this 6.75 you can see the line now to this 
to 6.75 so the same thing applicable to this area from here i'll be slanting it down to 6.75 can see so you can see the two line now so the next thing to take is the e point from here i'll be taking the e point of nine inches from the waist nine inches e point you can see from here nine inches e point you can see so from this e point the e measurement is 38 inches the half of it is um uh, is going to be uh, 19 inches 19 inches there by 2 is going to be 9 and a half so I'll be taking 9 and a half from here 9.5 inches 9.5 inches give me 19 inches there so then from here I'm going to take it to this area you can see this is the line I'm going to follow why I'm sewing it so the same thing applicable to this see so from here now i'm going to you can see this edge that i stopped the sewing form so i'm going to take it down to that edge you can see so this is how i'm going to take my measurement you can see now to this edge this is where i'm handing it so if you not check after sewing it the wideness of this area is um 16.5 inches so that's 32 inches in all and the wideness of this area is 38 inches so you can see how the shape is the difference of the wideness of the hip and the um the leg here to bring out the nice shape as this now is now six inches because this is 32 inches and this is 38 inches so you cannot see how beautiful the shape is so the next thing to go and do now is to take the shape so before taking the shape i'm going to take you on how to take the belt and the pleats are this um slit here you know it's just a pleat here so for you to do that you have to take the length of the slit from here to here so the length of my slit here now is it must be equal you must take it um accurately you can see this is 22 point this 20.75 so the length of my plate is going to be 20.75 so it not depend on the wideness that you want so i'm going to take you that on that now so this is for the belt for the two belt it has been folded into four you can see this is into two then into four this is doubled as well then the wideness of my belt here i used uh four inches you can see this is four inches then the length of the belt depend on how you want it to be so the length of the belt i'm using here is 36 inches as you can see so when i get to this area you can see this is four um wideness then when i get to this area i slant it to the edge here so the length of the uh, slanting is seven inches as you can see. so the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut it out so you can see this is now the belt the next thing to cut now is the pleat at the back so i'm using this for the pleat at the back so it's going to be double like this the next thing to take is the length of the slit now i told you you have to take the measurement and when we took the measurement it was 20.75 this is my um 20.75 and then i'll be adding three point three inches to it that is let me start from here now let one two three that's 24 inches so ignore this please so this is where the line is so the many inches is going to be for the same allowance so you can see now so the next thing so the wideness that we're using here is then how full you want the plate at the back to be but here i'm using the wideness of of 17.75 inches you can see the wideness is 17.75 inches so that is what i'm going to use to make a print around the slate so let me cut it out so this is now the what i'm going to use so i'm going to uh, stitch it 
up to this area then i'll turn into the right side then use this area to make a pleat around the slit and this is going to be the damper so let me go and do all that and show it to you welcome back this is after stitching it all you can see the front as well and I've explained the illustration on how to stitch it. You can see how simple the cutting is and the stitching. This is the neckline, the Kano neckline. You can see. You can see the neckline. And this is the green neckline at the back also. So you can make any neckline of your choice. You can see the um, side, the two sides. You can see how it turns out nice. So this is the end of the class. For those people watching for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And also, for those who are already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys for watching my video. Always see my next class. Bye.